Let us plunge into the field of spectroscopy. Spectroscopy. Now, I would like to divert your attention towards the extraordinary and the sophisticated instruments in spectroscopy. Absorption spectroscopy and emission spectroscopy. Well, friends, this is absorption spectroscopy that involves techniques that measure the absorption of electromagnetic radiation as a function of frequency or wavelength due to its interaction with sample. The sample absorbs energy, photons from the radiating field. The intensity of absorption varies as function of frequency and this variation is absorption factor. Well, absorption spectroscopy is performed across the electromagnetic spectrum. It is employed as an analytical tool, an analytical chemistry tool, to determine the presence of particular substance in a sample. In many cases, to quantify the amount of substance present, infrared and ultraviolet visible spectroscopy are particularly common in analytical applications. This is the sophisticated instrumentation technology used in analytical laboratory especially in our department, Geological Survey of India, Chemical Division, have been experienced so many instruments like Atomic Absorption Spectrometer, ICPMS, uh, and uh, Jarela's Mass Spectrograph, and other so many instruments. Well, Atomic Absorption Spectroscopy, AAS. Analytical chemistry, the technique is used for determining the concentration of particular element. It is used as an analytical technique. What is emission spectrum? The emission spectrum of an element is a unique pattern of light obtained when the element is subjected to heat or electricity. The emission spectrum of a chemical element is the spectrum of frequencies of electromagnetic radiation emitted due to electrons making transition from high energy state to the low energy state. Therefore, spectroscopy can be used to identify elements in matter of unknown composition. Similarly, the emission spectra of molecules can be used in chemical analysis. Another VDN instrument, atomic absorption spectrophotometer, what we are used and uh, the solution is prepared for that and we are feeding to the uh, solution in this instrument. Atomic emission spectroscopy AES is another type of uh, sophisticated instrument which is the emission spectroscopy that is AES. Next coming to the inductively coupled plasma atomic emission which is the really sophisticated and recent instrumentation technology. A flame during assessment of calcium ions in a flame photometer. The sample of material analyte is brought into the flame as a gas sprayed solution are directly inserted into the flame by using a small loop of wire, usually platinum. So therefore the thermal energy also excites the atoms into excited electronic states that subsequently emit light when they return to the ground state, ground el el electronic state, you know. This atom excites from ground state to the excited state. The difference between the two states can be measured with the help of sophisticated instrumentation technology using data station. So what is the difference between atomic absorption spectroscopy and the atomic emission spectroscopy? Well friends, let us have a brief discussion about the difference between those two sophisticated instrument technologies. For example, atomic absorption spectroscopy, yes. The abbreviation stands for AAS is Atomic Absorption Spectroscopy and AES is Atomic Emission Spectroscopy.